Random battles to the top 10 are back and this time we're in a race against Dr. Pokium MD and how it's gonna work is that every alternate day we're gonna play 7 games of random battles and the first to top 10 wins. In the middle we're also gonna have some surprise collaborative videos too so stay tuned for that. If you want to check out his perspective I'll link his channel in the description below but let's get right into it. My first 7 games of the run. Since I played we're at 2030 right now. And right off the bat we don't have an amazing lead we have Kartana into Ho-Oh. Uh, terrible lead in fact. Jellicent isn't even a good answer because ho can have Toxic, right? Do I go to Slowbro? No, no. Do I go to Flashfire? I can't go to Flashfire Heat more, can I? Because ho has Brave Bird. I'm a- this is a bug type, right? I'm not- I'm not crazy, right? Oh, it's, it's a- it's a fire type only? So should we go to Heat more? Hmm, huh, okay. For some reason I thought it was a bug. Anyway. So I'm gonna I'm gonna eat the sacred fire here. I think I go to Jellicent because if I get burned, I'm not scared of Toxic. So I always go to Jellicent here. Sacred fire, please burn me. Okay, good. Now Ho should switch out. Um, what there? 2140. I think I can willow the switch in, right? There's no way you brave bird here. I'm gonna willow the switch in. Hopefully we get something good. There we go. Flapple, burn that. Great. So the prediction works out, a burnt Flapple is not a threat. So this can be Choice Band or Life Orb. Do I go to Kartana? The main problem is that Kartana is never going to break through Ho-Oh anyway, it's not a good... Like, say I go to Ho say I go to Kartana on a Grab Apple, then what? All I do is knock off the Ho-Oh, but I don't really have a Punish, you know? I don't have Stealth Rock or anything. For that reason, I think Slowbro is a better switch in. What do they do here? They Dragon Dance, which is interesting, but I always uh, Shell Sidearm, right? Yeah. Even Outrage won't knock out because you're burned, because we made that aggressive prediction earlier. Obstagoon? That's a strong hit. 54 Life Orb. Obstagoon is a threat, though. We don't have anything. Yeah, we have like a terrible matchup right now. How do we deal with Obstagoon? It's 198, Pikachu is 218. Kartana outspeeds, but again, Kartana is not a match winner because of Ho-Oh. We can use Kartana defensively, so we can switch Kartana into knockoff here, right? Now we can go to Pikachu to predict Ho-Oh, right? Yeah, we can go to Pikachu to predict Ho-Oh. There we go. Now do we Volt Tackle or Volt Switch? They're gonna go to Flapple, right? I think I'm gonna Volt Switch predicting Flapple. Yeah, there we go. We're off to a really good start, like, uh, playing-wise, like, my moves are feeling uh, confident, I think we're doing good. Now let's Trick Room this time. Um, I'm not sure what they do here. They might just... Okay, good, 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 this worked out. Yeah, I think we always Shell Sidearm. If we remove Flapple, that is amazing for Pikachu. I don't think Ho-Oh is a switch-in, right? Not a switch-in, there we go. Let's keep going, one more Shell Sidearm, yeah, that's not a switch-in. Yeah, we're playing well, our moves are flowing. Flapple gone. That's really great for Pikachu. Yeah, really great for Pikachu. Uh, ho -Oh, you go to Delmise. Delmise is, is tricky. We don't even switch well. We don't switch well into Delmise, actually. Yeah, yeah, this is probably, like, a truly terrible matchup. And that's, this is bad for Pikachu, too. I thought Pikachu could be a match winner, but it's not gonna... It's not gonna be good enough. Even uh, the rank is not gonna be good enough, either. Do I trade Slowbro for damage? I'm considering that, right? So I, I'll, I'll eat the Poltergeist here, I'll take damage, I might even die in one hit. But I feel like I might have to do it. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to trade Slowbro for damage. Because if I trade Slowbro for damage on Delmise, that opens up Pikachu later in the game. So I think it's a good trade to trade Slowbro for Delmise right now. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good trade. Not the best trade, but I think it's a trade worth it. Yeah, 63. Maybe a lucky burn? No. Poltergeist, we die. Yeah, we die, expected. Uh, we do outspeed. I don't think you ever go to Obstagoon on a Psychic, right? That's way too aggressive. Do you? I mean, I, you could do it, but... Okay, you don't. Now there's definitely another knockoff coming in. So I'm, I'm thinking... Heatmore is such a trash Pokemon, it doesn't do anything. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe... We sacrifice Heatmore? Because, like, rank can still be good if it gets a Calm Mind maybe late game. Even Jellicent can be good to wall ho -Oh. So I think Heatmore is not going to do anything. We'll sacrifice it here. 
pretty decent damage. Do I go really aggressive right now and go Kartana? I mean, what am I keeping Heat more alive for, right? I don't... I could go aggressive and go Kartana. No. No, no, no. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go aggressive here. We're gonna go Kartana on Facade here. There we go. The aggressive play pay, uh, pays off here. Should we knock off? Should we Swords Dance into ho -Oh? Let's do it. Oh, into Raichu. Who switches Raichu into a Kartana? And, you know, this Pikachu idea isn't working because he has counters. Like, why would you go Raichu there? So, such a good Pokemon versus my team. Unfortunate. Yeah, now we definitely sacrifice Heat more. Uh, do we bluff Sucker Punch? Maybe we do, maybe we don't. No, we don't. Okay. So this is Choice Specs, right? So, isn't do we have this, the idea of using Calm Mind and then Dynamaxing through Obstagoon? I don't know if I like that, though. This is tricky. So I'm thinking late game rank could be the idea, right? If I can Calm Mind, Dynamax, Psychic even, but that Obstagoon is a real threat. Could I Dynamax Pikachu, maybe? I think, I feel like they're going to go to Ho-Oh now, right? I feel, yeah, I'm going to make a predict. There we go, got it. So our predictions are definitely on point today, but we're going to need a lot more than just predictions to break through right now. Kartana. Man, I didn't, I don't understand the right shoe on Kartana. Oh, we knock out Ho-Oh, that's great. Ho-Oh gone is amazing for the team. I'm gonna go to rank on a, a Psy Shock here. Will they will they predict me? They don't, good. Now I'm going to recover just in, just in case they try to Dynamax here. Yeah, okay. That, I think we should live if we recover. Yeah, exactly, okay. Now I think we have to... Should I recover again? I desperately want to recover again, because right now basically Raichu has two options, right? If they go for another Max Lightning, they can they risk going into the Pikachu, right? So they could Max Psychic into Pikachu making a predict, right? So do I predict Max Psychic and recover on the Max Psychic? I could. Should I though? I could, but should I? I'm gonna do it. Oh, it didn't work. 58, okay, now we go to Pikachu this time. Okay, they switch out. I'm not sure I understand the switch out here, because all you do is you let me go to Pikachu now. So I don't I don't understand that, but Will um it like should I Uh basically I wanna understand the positioning here. I think I always um volt switch. Yeah, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go to rank here, okay? Now the positioning is very important here. I'm gonna go to Pikachu on an electric move. I wanna make the predict. They go to Obstagoon again, but all you're doing is letting me attack you, right? I'm not sure I fully understand the play. So I'm scared of Psyshock. Um, at this point I can lose Kartana, don't need it. Interesting, so you go to you know, Rayquaza. This is not an issue. Like, it looks like it's going to be an issue. It's not, because I do have Dynamax Rink. But, yeah. Uh, we Smart Strike always. That's so weak. That's so weak. Are you kidding me? And we're doing everything out here, but... Okay. So, I, I believe the idea... This could be Lum, right? This could be Lum, which is why I can't Willow Jellicent. Not worth the risk, right? We have to open up the calc now. I'm going to have to Dynamax rank, I feel. Yeah. That's a crazy play. Now we can Knuckle, though. Will they, will they switch again? I feel like that's way too crazy to switch again, right? I could see it happening, but... Okay, good, good, good. This is working out, kind of. It's kind of working out. The Rayquay is still going to be a problem for me. Really intense game one. So, the problem... I guess it's not too big a problem. Yeah, this is winning, I think. Okay, we'll knock this out. Easy, 
right? Okay, we win now, right? Because Shadow Ball will knock out Raichu. Okay, we win. Really, really intense game one. Really intense game one, but we should win here. There is absolutely no way you knock out Jellicent, right? Right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Game one, we move up to 2057. Six more games left in the episode. Good start. Definitely a good start. Alright, we're back in, and we get a good lead matchup this time. We can almost definitely substitute on Gastrodon here. There's no way... Yeah, okay, good. Into Dredagon... Stealth Rock will go up. If it has it, I can't really deny the Stealth Rock. We do have Heavy Duty Boots, which is great. Articuno could be a good Dynamaxer with Calm Mind and Dynamax Flying. Copperage is okay, Relicanth is okay, Milotic could be a match winner. Uh, we'll definitely Leech for now. Okay, they go to Ludicolo. I guess we Leaf Storm? Do we have a better idea? No, right? That's so weak. Skeptile is probably, like, the worst Pokemon in random battles. It does nothing. We do have a free switch to Shedinja, though. Which is pretty good. We can Willow, probably into Gastrodon, maybe? Okay, we hit Dredagon with the Willow, which is great. Physical at Nope, we don't. Okay. Now we're struggling. So this has Mold Breaker, which will ignore Wonder Guard. Um, this doesn't have Toxic, so I feel like my Lodic is a free switch in. Glare. Uh, am I Marvel scale? I am. So we're really tanky now. The only problem is, of course, that we are paralyzed, which means sometimes we won't attack. We can Toxic though, okay. There we go. Now, this is looking like a pivot play, because Gastrodon cannot touch my Lodic, so they're going to Gastrodon so that they can go to a different attacker, and I will Toxic again. Because, or I'm completely wrong. Okay. I don't know what Gastrodon's doing here. Yeah, this, yeah, it's a pivot play. There we go. Gone. Now, this is going to use Aerial Ace, and I don't really have a switch in. So the, the obvious idea is to go to Shedinja, but if I get hit by Aerial Ace, I'm done for, and I need Shedinja for uh, Dratagon. Right now, it's looking like Relicanth is going to be just like a trash Pokemon, it's not going to do anything versus Ludicolo and Gastrodon, so I'm going to sacrifice it here, or go to an area least, one of the two. There we go. That worked out. Now... I think we can head smash. Why not, right? We'll hit that uh, Gastro, probably. Oh, Ludicolo. Give me Ludicolo. Ludicolo is not high value, because Shedinja walled it anyway. But I'm going to head smash again here, while they predict Shedinja. There we go. Let's knock it out. Relicanth, keep doing your best. Keep doing your best, you'll hit the next one. Oh, they're gonna give me Draco's ult. No, they're not gonna give me Draco's ult. Okay. Let's do another one. Into the Gastrodon. 40, that is huge. I didn't expect that much damage. We can throw another one off, knock this out. There we go. And Draco's ult is gonna come back in, and again, I have to make a decision, do I go Shed Ninja or not? I think Skeptile is low value. Should I go to Skeptile then? Yeah, I can go to Skeptile. It's low value here. Um, yeah, decent. We can Leech here. Yeah. Okay, so far so good. That Draco ult should be dead, but this has Rapid Spin, right? So it can remove Leech Seed. No, but it can't touch Shedinja, right? Yeah, we always go Shedinja. Exactly. Gain, gain the health. Nice going, okay. Um, this is not rough skin, right? So should I Poltergeist for damage? Um, I feel like Willow is safe too. Yeah, into Dragon. Yeah, this is totally safe right now. We have a free switch to Milotic. Even if you try to punish the switch and go to Draco's ult, you're taking toxic damage. I'm really happy with the way the game's gonna go. And there is Marvel scale coming into effect. And, and it's burned, right? But does Mold Breaker ignore Marvel scale? I don't know the interaction with that, actually. Um, we can recover, no matter what, though. Nope, maybe we can't recover. One more try. 28, recover. Okay, good. Um, should I Toxic Predicting Mr. Mime? I don't need to. I can Scald. Okay, hit that. 19. More damage. 
I don't ever want to risk Shed Ninja, do I? Skeptile is low value here, right? I mean, you could argue Relicanth is low value too. Skeptile speed could be good, maybe. Um, uh, basically, I'm never going to go Shed Ninja. Uh, I don't need two water types, right? Let's go to Relicanth. If they Bolt Beak, they Bolt Beak. I'm okay with that. Yeah, they Bolt Beak. Totally fine. We go to Shed Ninja now. And I don't think they would ever Dynamax right now, because what's the point? You're going to lose Drake Result pretty soon. So we can always Poltergeist into Dredagon here. Okay, how much is that doing? 45, which is unexpectedly high. Do I go to my Lodic again? What if they predict me? If they predict me, totally fine. They're taking toxic damage. I can live with that. You go to my Lodic here? Don't care if they predict me. Stealth Rock, don't care. We can Scald again, or should we Ice Beam? Yeah, I'm not scared of Mr. Mime. We can Ice Beam. Yeah. Hopefully we knock out Dredagon. Nope. Okay. Let's try again with the Recover. Confusion. Nope. One more try. Yeah, they go to Draco's Old. Of course they do. Again, not too concerned because they're taking damage, and I will never risk uh, Shed Injury here. We have the Heavy Duty Boots. I will never risk it. We'll go Skeptile here. They try to make a predict, but now we have a free leaf storm into Lycan Rock. They they sacrifice Drake with ult, okay? And now it's looking like um uh Skeptile is gonna be my Dynamaxer. We'll go to Shininja though here. They make a predict that I don't care about. Now we can go back to Skeptile, right? Or should we go to Copper Raja? I think we can go back to Skeptile here, right? They're never going to lose Lycan Rock. What, what, what was that? Why would you... Okay, uh, Milotic wins too. Why would you sacrifice Lycan Rock though? Um... Hmm. I guess I don't need Articuno, right? I can go to Copper Raja too. Whatever, I'll leave Storm here. Uh, I don't want to Dynamax- do I want to- I, I know, I'm not going to Dynamax my Lodic here. Let's get some defense going, right? Or... Yeah, uh, is special defense better for Mr. Mime? Whatever, I'll steal Spike now. Knock out Lycanroc here. Even better, okay. Uh, we can Starfall- I'm going to get Glared, aren't I? That's a problem, if I get Glared. Whatever. And here we go. Let's see if we can... Okay, we should win, right? There we go, easy win. 2073? Let's keep going. Five more games left for the episode. We're doing pretty well right now. I think we, we might even be past um, Pokemon right now. Zygarde into Sock. Sock cannot have Ice Punch. I'm good over there. Reggie, Lecky... Could, could be amazing in random battles. It's kind of like a, um, if you if you fight a team without a ground type, amazing. Otherwise, kind of trash. So what we can do is we typically want to hide Reggie Lecky until the end. Maybe they'll accidentally give up the ground type early in the game. So for example, Celebi could uh, defeat a, a ground type that's hiding in the back, right? I think I can... I'm scared of close combat. I feel like I can go... Uh, uh, I can go hard Celebi because we outspeed, right? Oh, what if they knock off? Yeah, okay, this worked out extremely well. And there is no life orb damage, which means they are very... I mean, not likely, they are definitely choice band or choice scarf. We can Giga Drain, whatever comes in now. Into Articuno, which is a complete counter to Celebi, unfortunate. Uh, we have Jirachi, which is a counter to Articuno. Yeah, we are we counter Articuno, we can stealth rock here. Um not concerned at all about Calm Mind, because they have to switch out, because even if you try and go max, it, you don't do anything, right? And we can toxic too. So definitely not a threat. Jirachi could be a match winner in this matchup. I feel like that's a choice scarf uh sock. I have to check though. I would have to check the calc, but feeling lazy right now. Actually, why am I feeling lazy? I should, I should, uh, I should calc. So after this turn in my neck, I'll calc just to see what they do. They go to Sock. Yeah, I should definitely calc to see if it's Choice Band or Choice Scarf. 
Okay, Randa Calc, it is in fact Choice Scarf uh, Sock, and it's going to come in with a knockoff. And unfortunately, I don't have a knockoff switch in. I guess I have Lapras, kind of. So I'm going to go to Lapras on a knockoff here. Yeah, this was my best uh, switch in. I would love, like, my ideal um, situation is I Dynamax uh, uh, Aurora Veil here, and then I go to Zygarde and I win the match. That is my ideal situation. I think it's a little early for that. We'll just throw off a Toxic. Maybe, I don't think you ever go to a Steel-type versus Lapras, right? Because the Water-type move is too threatening. Yeah, most Poison and Steel-types don't typically beat Lapras, so I feel like Toxic is a safe play. Let's see what they try and do here. They Dynamax, which is interesting, the early Dynamax, okay? So, we live. Obviously, they're really scared of... Uh, um, my Dynamax, um... They're scared of G-Max Resonance, right? They don't know I have a Ghost-type, so I can go to it here. Great. There we go. And this is looking good. We've wasted Dynamax turns, which is the main thing. Uh, Poltergeist... Yeah, I don't want to give it a choice band. Yeah, Darkness not going to do enough, right? Yeah, not enough. Not nearly enough. 36 2? That is big damage. We can... If they have a normal type, I'm okay. Jirachi can beat most normal types except Diggersby, which uh, Celebi can beat. That is a strong knockoff. They're Choice Scarfed. So Choice Scarfed... Doesn't Reggie Alecki outspeed? Reggie Alecki outspeeds Choice Scarf, right? We're talking 195 times 1.5, that is uh, less than 300, right? Yeah, Reggie Alecki outspeeds, which is great. We will find out now if they have a ground type or not, right? We can Thunderbolt here. We'll find out if they have a ground type. We'll find out if they have a ground type. I'm not sure if we have the Lapras idea anymore. We would have to find a really slow Pokemon to use it on. But there are chances, right? Of the Zygarde win. Because they used up the Dynamax early, which I'm not sure they should have done. But I can understand why they did it. But it felt a little premature to go for it. Okay, so they don't have... That is, that is disgusting damage. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, they don't have a ground type by the looks of it, maybe? I think we always volt into Jirachi here. The nasty plot, okay. They can't Dynamax. Should I... Should I Toxic and U-turn to Celebi? I think that is the idea. We want to Toxic first and then go to... Um... Uh, Celebi. Yeah, because they, they used up the Dynamax already. There we go. Thunderbolt. Not doing enough. You turn into uh, Celebi won't be taking too much damage, right? Yeah, that's nothing. Okay. And this is great news for Reggie Alecki. Incredible news for, for Reggie Alecki here. Um, do I make a predict? I would love to go Jirachi here, predicting Articuno. Whatever, not worth it. Let me uh, Psychic for damage, just in case we stay in, in case we stay in, but I would love to go Jirachi right now predicting Articuno, gain some leftovers too, you know? I would love to do that. Okay, good. So good thing I didn't go to a Jirachi, would have been a terrible idea. Articuno should come in now, and I can hard switch into Jirachi, even go for a flinch. Uh, do you go to, um, a Sock now? I don't think you do, right? Knockoff wouldn't knock out uh, Celebi, right? Do you really? There's no way you knock me out. Yeah, you don't knock me out, and Celebi is trash because of Articuno. Okay, we'll take that. The reason I really like that for me is because uh, Sock could have outsped Zygarde with the Choice Scarf. So, Dragon Dance Zard looking pretty good right now, Reggie liking, looking good. Based on context, right? I don't know. They could have a ground type, but they haven't revealed it yet. Yeah, Articuno. Jirachi is an easy switch in. We can even uh, Iron Head Flinch, maybe? Iron Head Flinch is risky. Um, we'll have to think about that. 
Jirachi, you calm mind? I think we always toxic, it's safer. We don't- we go for flinch after one toxic. That way the damage racks up. Okay? Yeah, that is nothing. Oh, are you kidding me? That is tough. Okay. So the good news is even if they have a uh, setup sweeper, Reggie Alecki can deal with them, right? Because of the speed. And they don't have a Dynamax. Even Zygarde can uh, Dynamax defensively. So I think for now we just go for the, um, the unfreeze right now. That is trash. Unfortunate, huh? Um... We go for it. Nope, not happening. The good news is that Thunderbolt does one hit KO. So we should pick up a KO here, and then we have Dynamax Zygarde as an option available. So I'm pretty happy with the way things are looking. But it, it is a concern because we don't know half the team yet. So I could be completely wrong and we have like a terrible matchup. They are running low on time too, so they're taking some time to think, which you don't usually see a lot of. I mean, I think I take a long time because I'm narrating, but usually you don't see people take too long. Five seconds left. Hold. Hold. Oh, last moment. Okay. Um... Dazzling Gleam, maybe? Should I Volt into... Oh, this is tricky, right? So I don't know if it's Blunder Policy or Choice Scarf. I don't know anything about it. I'm even considering Dynamaxing Regieleki. Hmm. Yeah, I, I want to make sure I make a good move and not just play the timer, so it's okay if he's at 5. So I always outspeed even Choice Scarf, right? I could Volt and sacrifice Lapras, maybe? Because if Zerkitry is the Reggie Lucky counter, maybe you don't have one? Is that the idea? I feel like a D-Gleam is definitely coming in, because D-Gleam to hit Zygarde, right? I think I'm going to Dynamax here. Right? We, we hit him with one normal Dynamax, okay? 44, okay? D-Gleam as expected, that must be Choice Specs damage. Now we Lightning to maximize the electric turn, electric terrain turns, right? There we go. And let me know if you have something that can take on Dynamax Regieleki in electric terrain. Terrakion, no way. No way. This is gonna faint. There's no way Terrakion lives a hit. Show me the money. There we go. Now we have a Zygarde in the back, which can live almost anything. Maybe if there's an Ice type in the back, I will be... You have to kid. If you had this the whole time, why were you sacrificing to Mamoswine? Um... Whatever. Explode, right? Should I substitute once? No, whatever. Okay, Ice Shard. Good thing I didn't substitute. 62. Oh, uh, this is a speed tie. Unless it's banded. Are you kidding me? And imagine if Jirachi wasn't frozen too. If Jirachi wasn't frozen, we would have been ahead. We're gonna lose to Mamoswine. I thought the whole time they didn't have a ground type. Unfortunate. Almost had it. We dropped at 2057 and three games done, four more left. Rank into Groudon. Not terrible. Groudon has a low special defense, so we can maybe. We have Altaria, which can counter except for Rock Slide. Stone Edge, rather. I'm gonna throw one off here. Yeah, okay, I'm fine with that. Big damage. 174, and we can go to Altaria on a ground type move and Draco. Because Groundon has low special defense, right? Yeah, we can do that. Or that too. I'm fine with that. We can Draco now. 2017.
Okay, they go to Espeon. Get that Draco. 54. Decent damage. Um, We can go to Diggerthby, maybe? Or... Do I want to uh, reveal... I mean, do I want to use up the item early? Probably not, right? Let me go Diggerth Beyond Recover. Or Calm Mind, okay. I think I have to Quick Attack now. Yeah, okay. I could have knocked off there, whatever. I'm tilting, aren't I? After that, after the last game, I think I'm tilting. Um... But yeah, uh, 171... Groudon does outspeed, but it looks like we have a counter in Altaria. Maybe. Celesteela is annoying to deal with. No, it's not annoying. No, can it, does it have Earthquake? It can have Earthquake. Um, so Magnazone won't work. But I do have the Reshiram, which will work. Leech Seed. Uh, do I have to pivot around a little bit? I feel like they switch out here, right? Let me try Altaria, okay? Okay. We can Roost. Yeah, Celesteela, we can farm it. So Altaria will heal right now. We're not a Fairy-type, Flash Cannon won't do much. Even if you Earthquake predicting Reshiram, I can Roost off the damage. So we're looking good. What are the Leech Seed maybe again? Yeah, this is nothing. And the worst part for them is that if they go Groudon, you're going to give me a boost, right? The, uh, Moody lower special defense, we can Toxic. Um, okay, good, 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 good. Gunk Shot, ooh, don't poison. Unfortunate. We have to look what they get here. They get special attack, which is um, terrible for me. We can Roost off the damage. Ice Beam, critical hit. Okay, let's keep an eye on it. More special defense, they lose special attack, which is good. We can Roost off damage again. Yeah, we're looking good. Reshiram looks like a match winner right now. Reshiram is a match winner here. Hydro, 41. Okay, no special attack. Speed? Oh, that's really bad. Now speed, because of speed, you can actually outspeed me, right? I'll have to go to Altaria then. Hydro? Okay. More damage. Now they get attack too. So now Gunk Shot is coming in. Or Ice Beam. We can go to Magnezone on one of those two. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, nothing we want right now. Hydro Pump coming in. I feel like we lose Altaria. Or Diggersby? No, we lose Altaria. Okay, good. Switching. 38. Now, Octil Octillery will die here. Do I sacrifice Diggersby? I feel like I will never need Diggersby again because of Celesteela walling it. Yeah, we can lose Diggersby here. Okay, let's go. We don't lose anything now. If you go to... Yeah, I think I'm, I'll trade knockoff here. I'll trade knockoff to remove leftovers. I'll trade that. 36, okay. Yeah, you get special attack. I'm okay with that. Now, we do magnet pull trap you. So I can thunderbolt, right? Will you Dynamax Celesteela here? I don't feel like that's a good idea. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Groudon, I think we can always go to Altaria, even if you uh, Stone Edge me, I don't care. I would rather go Altaria than lose Magnezone to Groudon. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, this should one-hit KO, shouldn't it? Yeah, Blue Flare in the, in the Sun, and Groudon has low special defense, this should one-hit KO. I don't think Groudon will ever Dynamax here, right? I don't think, I don't, I don't think it'll ever Dynamax here. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Reshiram, for doing your best. And this is bad now. Should I Dynamax Rillaboom in response? I feel like I might have to. Unfortunate. This should, this should be a. This might be a one hit KO. No way. Never mind. This will not one hit KO. Okay, it does critical hit. Okay, so that makes up for it. Okay. Rotom Mo. Uh, this can have Willow, can't it? That's that's not good. This can have Willow, right? Whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. 
Why did I go for it? I, I didn't gain anything by going for it. All I had to do was switch out to, uh, to my rank. Why did I do that? Whatever. And it has a nasty plot, and it's gonna leaf storm me. Um, do we we have to go to Magnazone, right? No, we don't. I mean, we go to Rillaboom, kind of. They Thunderbolt too. This is gonna turn into another. I mean, not a choke, but it's not ending well. Okay, we knock it off. Great. We're gonna lose Rillaboom here. Magnazone can revenge kill Rotom, I believe. Yeah, Magnuson can revenge kill Rotom. No, it can't. It can't. I thought about Mirror Code, but it'll never work because they can they can Willow and stall out, right? Whatever. Um, we can try and drop special defense. They'll always Willow here, yeah. They're gonna nasty plot again, probably. I don't think you ever attack because they know I have they know I have the assault vest, uh, thing. Right? They know about it. Why would you attack there? Don't you know I have it, right? Maybe I'm over predicting here. Yeah, I'm over predicting now. Yeah, I'm gonna lose here too. Yep. Yeah, Thunderbolt KOs here. Yeah, we're done. Why did they leave Storm? That's such a trash play to make. Because you risk missing the attack anyway. Whatever. 2035. I'm getting memories. Memories from back when I used to play. Um, Poltergeist coming in, we have the double easy switch in. We don't need to take damage on Pissimian for no reason right now. There we go. Now we can go back to Pissimian. Magirna could be a match winner. We want to save it for later. Oh, that's a really good play from my opponent. Now, yeah, that was a good play. They predicted me. Uh, we can close combat predicting a switch now. Because they're going to predict double. We can close combat. Because I'm obviously going to go back to double, right? Yeah, there we go. I could have knocked off, whatever. Uh, in hindsight, that was a terrible play. We can go to Spiritomb, though. Okay, good. Boulder guys coming in. Yeah, that was a good play turn, too. They, they predicted me. And of course, they have a normal type. We have Magirna, which matches up well. No, this can have Earthquake, so I'm completely wrong. But Double can match up well with Cotton Guard. Um, Simeon now. There we go. Now we can. Now we can actually be threatening without the items and stuff, right? Okay, into Spirit Tomb. Um, it's not gonna poltergeist me. Let's just go Magirna then. It might trick though. Shadow Sneak, even better. Okay. Now we threaten a Fluor Cannon. Now, uh, uh, Sloking is gonna come in right now. Should I make a predict? I can't really predict though. Like, what am I gonna predict with, right? Should I Calm Mind then? I can Calm Mind too, right? Why not? We go to Agron, which is a counter to everything I do. Okay. So Gyarados could be a match winner, maybe? So Earthquake is coming in. Let's just go to Gyarados, see what happens. Yep, okay. Uh, we can Waterfall uh, predicting Head Smash. No, 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 no. This is Choice Banded. So I can Dragon Dance on that. Yeah, I can Dragon Dance on it. Licky, Licky? We're not Lum. I don't care, I'm gonna go for the flinch. That's so weak. Oh, is that banded Licky Licky? Maybe. Might be banded. We have Volcanion though. And of course they have Dracozold. We're going to dodge Dracozold. But they're going to Dynamax here. We have nothing for Dracozold. They're going to Dynamax here. We're, we'll just dodge. Nope. Okay. I mean, ultimately we will have to dodge. That's the only play right now. But... The Scarf too, okay. Uh... Everything has their item. No, we can't even Poltergeist because of Spiritomb. Okay, we can lose double. I mean, you have to dodge. We have to dodge once, right? The thing is, now they can Dynamax, which is a problem. They're gonna Dynamax, yeah. Whatever. 
Starfall. Why did they quake? They could have gotten big damage if they didn't quake. That's fine though. Steel spike here, okay. We live oh that's a one hit KO, okay. This should be a big hit, right? This should be huge. Okay, Magirna? Going off? Okay. There we go. Genesec. That might actually beat me, right? I think I have to Floor Cannon. Do I? Do I have to Floor Cannon here? I don't think I win, actually. I think I, I straight up lose the game, don't I? Okay, Techno Blast. Oh, we don't get it. I think I have to keep Double alive, though. I mean, I have to keep... Uh... Oh, we... They're gonna trick? Is that the idea? Um, what do I do here? This is a tricky. This is a tricky endgame. Yeah, okay, that was kind of expected. So we're going to have to figure out a way to get Magirna in on a Spiritomb, basically, right? That is going to be the challenge of the endgame. Okay, didn't work. Yeah, so this is going to be like a really annoying PP stall here. So if I'm PP stalling, I shouldn't waste PP, right? Yeah, I shouldn't waste PP if I'm going to be a PP stalling, right? Yeah. Oh, but Shadow Sneak has 48 PP. That is crazy. I can't. That is too much PP. Yeah, I don't win the PP stall. Yeah, I don't win the PP stall here. Yeah, Shadow Sneak will drain all my PP. Uh, um. Okay, so I did the calcs. I can actually switch Magirna because I'm definitely going to lose the PP stall. So I can definitely switch Magirna in at some point. The question is when. Basically, I want to make it look like I'm all I'm doing is cotton guarding, and then I switch. And we have a good chance to live here. Oh my god, I am actually the greatest of all time. I don't know how that worked. I, I wasn't planning on switching into a trick, but I will take my trophy as the greatest of all time. There we go. And we should win now. I don't know how that happened. But... Yeah, we should win now. Body press should one-hit KO. Unless, like, a flamethrower burn. That would be, like, the worst-case scenario. But I think we do win. Yeah, this is a crazy game. We move up to 2055 after four games, right? Three more left. Okay, great lead. You know, people on the ladder, they love to fire blast here. I don't know what it is, but people love to fire blast here. So I'm not going to swords dance. Okay, into Tapu Lele. This can be Choice Scarf. We have a counter in Cresselia. I'm pretty happy about that. A uh, good play from them to make a uh, switch. But is it really though? Now, Cobalion looks really good. Three Pokemon that are weak to Cobalion. They are Dark type right now. They can't touch me. I think I can freely go to Cobalion and I can throw off an Iron Head next. Boom, let's go. Iron Head coming in. Let's see what they do here. Cobalion is looking really good. Uh, looking like a match winner, too. If they go to Lele, I will win the game immediately, probably. What do they do? Okay. Let's go. That's so weak. Wow, okay. Um, We make the Cresselia play again. No reason not to. Right? They make the play again. They're going to Parting Shot here. So I'm just going to Calm Mind. Or not, I'm just really bad. We can Moonlight though, because now it's an electric type move. I didn't th I didn't think they would Aura Wheel into um, a Cobalion, but what do I know? There we go, another attack boost. We can Iron Head again. I wonder, there's no way they go Explode here, right? I don't think you would lose it that early. Yeah. Okay, good. Really good to get Lele out of the way. So they do have Zygarde, which should not beat Cresselia. Cresselia got low on health, which is a problem. Um, we can always go to Mr. Mime. It has Eviolite, right? 
Yeah, we- Oh, it's gonna have Iron Tail, right? We might die to an Iron Tail. Should I switch out then? It's not like I have a switch in, right? No, I do, right? So if I'm predicting Iron Tail... I think I want to keep Mr. Mime around, so we'll sacrifice Relicanth here. We don't need it. Yeah. Yeah, so now we're okay, like, we're okay with this because now we can revenge kill with uh, Noivern. Noivern, right? Yeah, Noivern can revenge kill. I almost lost uh, Mr. Mime for no reason, so... Okay, they have a counter, unfortunately, but they are really weak to Kobalion. I'm gonna use this as a chance to heal up Cresselia. We can might even go for a Dynamax win. The team is looking really weak to Cresselia. I'm not sure... Okay, yeah, we definitely try and heal first. So let's Moonlight or Moonblast? Moonblast for damage, right? Because they're never going to outrage knowing I can recover. Yeah, exactly. 59? Do they change typing here? No, right? They do, okay. Let's just go to Cobalion. I feel like they might predict me with Parting Shot. They don't. I don't know why they're insisting on... whatever just happened right now. Why were they insisting on losing more Pico? Um, nothing I can do. We'll sacrifice, we'll go to... Um... Noivern into Carbink isn't ideal. We can just Calm Mind here. And we're setting up the Dynamax win now. Yeah, even if you light screen up... Are you kidding me? Okay, no, this is not a problem, right? We can star fall through, yeah. There we go. Yeah, and Dynamax should beat everything. Yeah, we they gave... I think Cresselia won on matchup. They quite literally had nothing to beat Cresselia. Like, no matter what I did, I would have won this game with Cresselia, which was unfortunate for them, but that's how random battles goes. 2079, we finished five games, two more left. Cradilly into Copperaja. Uh, terrible matchup. We do have Kofagrius, which is good. Regieleki is good. Zygarde is good. So bad lead matchup, but not like terrible overall, right? We'll go to the uh, Kofag here. Stealth Rock goes up. We will Toxic Spikes here. And hopefully it turns out into something good. And I get a lot of um, uh, comments actually about why do I only go for one T-Spike? And the main reason is I don't want to invest two turns and have them have a poison type. And then all, I wasted two turns. Basically, it's more low risk. I only waste one turn. That's basically the idea. That I only waste one turn. I can use Cradilly defensively here because it's not going to break Copper Raja anyway. Yeah, we can basically lose. Like, we don't switch into Absol, right? Yeah, it outspeeds everything. We don't switch into Absol, basically, but... We could Stealth Rock here. Oh, we live? Okay. Stealth Rock and T-Spike? Great. Do I go Reggie, Aleki? Do I go Tyrant? I can bluff Choice Scarf, maybe? I think I go Tyrant here and I close combat. We don't die in one hit, even to close combat. Yeah, okay. So Absol was a big threat to my team, now it's gone. They do have a- oh god, this is- this is not good. Nagnadel is, like, super threatening, really hard to deal with. We have to sacrifice. Unfortunate. Yeah, t uh, terrible matchup uh, for this game, but nothing we can do. Okay, so... Uh, we Maybe we can drain Life Orb. Maybe we can drain Life Orb. So we're trying to set up the Zygarde win. That's the idea. Okay. You go to Flapple... Um, nothing I can really do, I guess, right? I mean, I can Thunderbolt for damage, right? That was nothing. Maybe I can do it again? No, maybe I can explode, right? Yeah, I think I have to explode here. Okay. Zygarde, I mean, a uh, Kofag is gonna, I mean, uh, whatever is gonna come in, I'm going to Memento and go for the Zygarde win. That's my plan right now. Phil Valley Bug? Can I Willow? This doesn't have Ice Beam, right? So I can always Memento. Okay, good. Here we go. The Zygarde win. We... Omastar, we can special defense, um, like Max Quake, right? 
We're going to gain special defense. We are Zygarde. Hit that. That is disgusting. Nothing. Now we're going to have to eat a Dynamaxed... Um, we're going to have to eat a Dynamaxed I mean, Ice Beam right now. Can we do it? We'll find out. Can we live it? Max Guard. Um, good idea to waste one turn. Okay. Nope. No chance. No shot. Oh, we don't even have Aqua Jet. What the? We don't have Aqua Jet either. This is terrible. GG, I guess. Down to 2059. I don't know how many games we're at. How many games was that? Five or six, right? Um... Is this going to spike me? It could. I have the Hatterene, though. Yeah, let's put a Hatterene on a spike. There we go. Um... I'm just gonna side shock here. Okay, we remove Roserade. One for one trade. Yeah, hopefully we can make progress. We started at 2030, so like winning, even winning a few is great. Oh, we'll go to Lycanroc. Oh, it has Tinted Lens, I forgot. Oh, didn't matter. Why would you nasty plot there? Whatever. Into Ferrothorn. Big damage, we don't have close combat. Uh, getting a Teeth Spike could be good, right? Get a Teeth Spike up. They Gyro Ball, okay. Oh yeah, they, they they gyroed predicting Hatterene, which makes sense, right? This could be Stealth Rock, right? We'll get a T-Spike up, though. They go to Noctowl, great. I think I'm going to make the aggressive Lycanroc again, because Lycanroc is anyways walled by Ferrothorn, so I can use Lycanroc defensively. Yeah, we can use Lycanroc defensively. Let's go to Hatterene predicting Ferrothorn. There we go, now we have a free Mystical Fire. No, no, um, I'm gonna make a Predict. No, should I make a Predict? I'm gonna make a Predict. That was a terrible idea. Why would you leave Ferrothorn in, right? It's fine. Um, that's good. Let's just Shadow Ball, get some damage off. 30. Stealth Rock goes up, we can Shadow Ball here. Or should we King's Shield? If we King's Shield on Knockoff, now we can Substitute, which is a good idea. Okay, working out pretty well, the plan. Okay, Substitute, we should live now. We don't live that, wow. Crazy, okay. We can Shadow Ball. If they go to Noctowl, I'm kind of in trouble, but I do have Toxic. There's no way they go to Noctowl, right? They could, but... Yeah, they do go to Noctowl. Uh, we're gonna get hit by Heat Wave. Let's just go Stack Attacker then. Yeah, we're gonna get hit by Heat Wave with uh, Tinted Lens. Stack Attacker in. On the Heat Wave, we take kind of a lot, but it's fine. We can Stone Edge now. Or should we Earthquake predicting Pharaoh? Nah, let's Stone Edge. Yeah, we can Stone Edge, definitely. Into Pharaoh, should be a knockout. Yeah. Good defense, okay. They leave the game. Um, which means either they rage quit or they're coming back. Either way, I'm gonna pause so we don't like waste time. Okay, they came back. They go to Claude's there. Uh, we kind of struggle versus the Claude's there, right? I think I sacrifice. I sacrifice Runa Regis here. We don't need it anymore. Yeah. Um. Do we try and dance with Zygarde? We could, right? Or Substitute would work better, maybe? No, we'll Dragon Dance here, yeah. Okay, now we become the the goaded form. 51, decent. Uh, we'll have to Substitute to... Oh, this is a great Substitute. Oh, this is great. Yeah, we're going to be running them out of 
Dynamax turns and uh, Poison too. But what are we going to Dynamax, right? Age with Slash maybe, but... Okay. Uh, we just go for as much damage as we can. Yeah, not much, but... Uh, 147, we have to use um, Lycanroc. Throw off the Acceleroc here, get some damage off. Will they preserve Claude, sir? They might. They don't. I think they should have, right? Because even one attack from Claude, sir, was good versus Age of Slash and Stack Attacka. In any case, we do have our Dynamax left, so I'm hoping maybe Stack Attacka Dynamax is in play. They're, they're trying to bait something, or they're trying to sacrifice. I don't know which one. Either way, I, I always Stone Edge. Right? They're, okay, so they, they lose Noctowl. So I have Dynamax Age of Slash in play, don't I? I think I do. They have they have Palkia, which I'm not too concerned about. I'll King's Shield once just because I can. No 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 no. Thunder Wave goes through it, right? So I shouldn't King's Shield. I should Dynamax, right? Yeah. Fire Blast, don't care, that's nothing. Okay, hit him with the Phantasm. Big damage. Does Max Guard reset the... Like, do I turn into... Um, shield form? No, right? They're taking a lot of damage. This is tricky, do I switch out? I don't know anything about the last Pokemon. Do I have any context clues or anything to help me out? I mean, no, right? I think I sacrificed Stack Attack. I'm gonna make a judgment call that Age of Slash is gonna be the match winner. Okay. Okay. King's Shield again. We we'll have to double King's Shield, right? Oh, they did it. We'll try again, though. And we'll find out if we can beat the last Pokemon or not. Nope. And we end up back where we started at 2039. Uh, thank you guys for watching, <laughs> I guess. We're not gonna win- we're not- at this- at this uh, rate, we're not gonna win the race, but thank you guys for watching anyway. And hopefully in the next episode, we will do a lot better than what we're doing right now.